I don't know how y'all do it, but I don't think I could ever be in a relationship with anyone. No, after knowing that they cheated or they did something like I can't do it because I <sighs> we got into fights about stuff like that. Like it was bad. And I remember one where I I was supposed to go up there for six o'clock. I remember this because it was bad. Six o'clock. But I'm like, you know what? I ain't gonna call. I'm gonna show up. Now, I'm gonna say something to you. His daughter loves me, okay? And the one thing I know about children is that when people mistreat them, they don't like you, okay? One day I went up there, this is before this incident. So one day I went up there and she sees me and she's like, oh my gosh, you're here. Right? Four. And she comes to me. She's like, I have to tell you something. That's what she said. She's like, I have to tell you something. I'm like, what the hell does she have to tell me? She's four. So she comes up to me and she's like, well, when you weren't here, right? Daddy had somebody over here. That's what she said to me. I don't think she said the girl's name, but she told me. And then she said that we went... Um, we went somewhere, but what she said to me that stuck with me was like, I like when you're here because when you're not here, he mistreats me. He's mean to me. That's what she says, right? Which I believe because you don't want the kid in the first place. You don't, listen here, right? He, did, he wasn't sure that the child was his. So I said, why don't you get a DNA test? Like, hello, is that not logical? If someone tells you, hey, I have a baby for you, this is yours, and you question that, as a man, as a woman, would you not get a DNA test? That's that's all I'm saying. But I, I'm too, um, what was that? I was too educated, apparently. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those educated girls that think they know everything. No, it's common sense. If you don't wanna raise another man's child, get tested like it was always in the back of my mind now that there's somebody coming there it was always something there like it's <laughs> i don't know how y'all do it but i don't think i could ever be in a relationship with anyone no after knowing that they cheated or they did something like i can't do it because i don't want to be looking i know what it feels like to be in a relationship and questioning every single action and move that they're doing yo to be fair and through all it is like all these garbage people i never cheated and half of them weren't even my men. Only two of them. This idiot and, and Carl. Like, I've never cheated. I've never done anything questionable. I might be disrespectful as hell, but that's it. Like, I found that when she told me that, I started questioning everything. And it's just like, yo, all when we first met, this man had a... I'm telling y'all, right? This is why this is so hard for me because I don't care what no one says. I know I'm a good woman. I know who I am as a person. But you get sidetracked because of feelings. I need to check my feelings. Yo, when we first met, he got sick. He had a sickle cell attack, right? And he was in the hospital. And I was helping him in terms of I would go and visit him. I would go bring clothes for him. I would all go and bring food or whatever it is for him. I all spent the night at the hospital with him like an idiot. Listen, I'm getting angry thinking about it because he turned that around. See that hospital thing? When we were arguing closer to the end of the, the whatever that was, not a relationship, but that garbage. The man tell me how I had somebody in his house. I'm like, yo, are you dumb? Are you stupid? Hello? <laughs> no. So honestly, I just, the story is just, oh God. I went over and I was supposed to go over for six o'clock because I said I was going to come for six and I decided that I wasn't going to call. Yeah, I wasn't going to call. That's number one. And number two, my phone died. It was dying and I didn't have my charger. So it is what it is. So I go up and I, I juiced up. I got a little juice going on my phone and I'm like, hey, I was so like, hey, I'm outside. My boss man was like, oh, how you gonna come to my house and not call me? 
excuse me yo i legit what's my phone yo i legit hung up the phone i was like oh okay and i knocked on the door so he lived in a basement apartment right so i knocked on the neighbor's door and i'm like yo is he inside and she was like oh my gosh like i liked her she was like you know i don't want to be in the middle of this but um he has somebody him and somebody were arguing that's what she said to me she's like yeah he was arguing with a girl or something and i was like oh okay so i just go inside and i'm just like i go right downstairs and i kick the door open and i'm like yo you're i went off i'm like yo you're a liar all that stuff just i just went off like i really did like i really did and then this dirty like this girl start saying oh my gosh i didn't know i'm so sorry and i'm like yo didn't know what yo why are you talking to me like whatever so we that was a whole mess yo in that moment i was like listen stop okay yo oh this is a hot ghetto mess it's a hot ghetto mess guys i'm not proud of this relationship I'm really not. This is probably one of the chapters of my life that I would never, ever want to revisit. I just need to take what I learned, what I experienced, and apply it going forward. Because I can't. I can't. It just didn't make any sense. And the fact that Carl was getting married was what threw me off my game. Like, completely. You know what I mean? So it was kind of like... I can't. Like, I really can't. Like, it's just... It's stupid. It's, I'm just trying to remember. Like. There's a lot. There's just a lot of garbage. There was one night. I, I came home. I ain't seen my mom in a while. I came home. And. Yo I went to sleep. I went to work. And I was coming from school and, and stuff. And I was tired. So I went to sleep. Jesus Christ. Yo, I woke up to like 20, 22 missed calls, like 10 voicemails, a couple messages, like text messages. I should have known that. Yo, when I call this fool back, I'm like, yo, what the problem? Yo, the man left a, best, a voicemail talking about how, um, oh, please answer the phone, please answer. I know, I know, I know what type of girl you are. I know what type of girl you are. I'm like, what kind of girl am I? I was sleeping. <laughs> Yo. Honestly, I feel like I'm happy I'm able to share this story. I don't know what you're going to learn from it, but I'm happy I'm able to talk about it. <laughs> Yo. Okay, okay. Fast forward to the breakup. Like, the relationship was garbage, so there's not much detail other than, okay, his daughter, us fighting, and yeah, that's it. That's the relationship. We met, we fought, his daughter was the balance. That was it. It was nothing else. Nothing else. I can't even find one good thing to say about this man. Nothing. I can't find one good thing to say about the relationship. Like, I'm not even trying to be mean or messy. Like, there was not one good thing about it. The good thing about it that came out for me was the fact that I learned what I don't want. The same thing with Carl, right? So when, when men approach me and they have a certain demeanor and they say certain things. Like, I read people a lot more now than I used to do, right? Cha. So this is a breakup. I went to this house, his house, okay? I went to his house, okay? I have to say that again. After work. Because I did have, this was like, we weren't really like on the same page. We were just fighting too much. Like, I mean, shit, the whole relationship was a fight. But like, in this particular moment, it was just like a constant, like every single thing. He was attacking every single thing, like everything, like everything, right? So I was like, I go to his house. This is what I want you to know. If I said, oh my gosh, the sky's blue, right? Oh, why is everything a problem? You always have an issue. You always got to say something. Okay? All right. So I go to his house after work and 
I'm like, I was so tired. I fell asleep on the bed, like in my clothes, everything. I was so tired. And then I got up. It was around three o'clock. I got up and I'm like, I'm going to take a shower. So I go take a shower. I was all packing, like making sure all my stuff was together or whatever. I go take the shower, right? And I come back to use my deodorant. And I notice, like, you know the, you have to turn it and it pushes up. Okay, so it's a gel deodorant. So I notice that everything that's supposed to be in the bottom half is in the cap. So I'm just like, who the hell was messing around with my deodorant? Mind you, his daughter wasn't there anymore. That's another story that I can't, I don't want to, because I don't want to speak about her other than the fact that I, I cared about her. Um, but that's another dimension of this entire saga that I really and truly don't want to talk about because I care for that little girl. You know what I mean? But anyways, she was no longer around. And he, he was in her room. We all made her room. Because I'm like, yo, she's going to be here. Make her feel at home. Made up the room that he had. Painted it, all that stuff for her. Okay, YouTube? All right. Love her dearly. But anyways. <sighs> so I look at my deodorant. And I'm like, why does my deodorant look like this? So then I'm like, I go into the room that he's in. Now he's in her room. And he's in there doing music. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. He's an aspiring rapper. Done. Anyways. And by aspiring, I got nothing. He want to rap. Rap on, child. Anyways. Okay. He. <laughs> he's in there doing whatever song he's doing. And. I walk over and I said, did something happen to my deodorant? That's exactly what I said. I said, did something happen to my deodorant? And then he did this thing with his face where I, I see his face. I was like, all right, he wants to argue. I'm not about that life tonight. Because right then and there, I was willing to like, y'all would have to visit me, child. Okay. So <laughs> he's like, What? What happened to your deodorant? I don't know anything about your deodorant. So I said, okay, no problem, right? That's what I said, I said, okay, no problem. So I go back into the room and I threw the deodorant out. I didn't put any deodorant on. I threw the deodorant out and I started putting my stuff together because I already said I was leaving in my mind. I was like, I'm done, like whatever, I don't care, like whatever, right? He comes and he stands at the door now. And he's like, he's like, what's the problem? What's the problem? I was like, no, nothing. You said you didn't know what happened to my deodorant. So I just, I threw it out. Like, it's okay. Right? And I went about my business. And he did this. <sighs> and then he goes into the living room. So I just packed up all my stuff. Whatever it, I had there that was left. It was just like my, um, it was just the stuff that I took from work and school, right? So I just, you know, I was putting up my clothes and all that stuff or whatever. And I walked down out the door. That's all I did. All the way out. <laughs> and when I passed, I don't think he saw me, but when I passed, he was in the living room like, oh my God. Like stressing out, like somebody was like coming for his life or whatever. Anyways, I left. And it took him about like 20 minutes to realize I was gone. I answered the phone and he's like, wait, did you just up and leave the house? Yeah. Oh, why do you always do that? You're so disrespectful. You're so this, you're so that. Okay. I'm going home. I live somewhere, remember? Because he always used to like to say, oh, that's why you always live with your mom and nobody wants to. Yeah, listen, this man used every insecurity that I ever had against me. And my self-esteem was already low, right? He used everything. I was just like, okay. Yeah, I'm going home to my mama. Bye. Listen here. Okay? I broke up with this man. I can't, I don't remember. Just call it, let's call it November. Okay, let's say it was a November 
in 2017. We met in 2017. We broke up in 2017. <laughs>